So as a business, you're going to be posting uh, new content and making comments and interacting on Facebook. And this video is going to cover how to do that. Okay, so if you log into Facebook, you go to the cog and you click use Facebook as and click your business name, you're going to get to this page. So as you can see, this is the Tech Cloud Enterprises uh, Facebook page. If we wanted to post a new status, we would scroll down here to this status bar. And we can write something here, for example, hello. And what that's going to do is when we click post, that's going to post to everyone who has liked our page. So 625 people, possibly, are going to see this on their news feed. Okay. So the more people that like your page, the more views you're going to have and the more people you can reach. So that's why it's a good idea that you go through and like pages that are associated with your business because what you're doing is you're growing that network. You're growing the amount of people that are potentially going to see your posts. So if we get back to posting a status, you can see this clock here and what you can do is you can actually delay a post from posting to a certain time. So for example, if I had a competition running in a week, I could set up this post to actually be posted next week, for example. So if I go October, then I say, okay, I want it to be posted on the 23rd, and I want it to be posted at 9am. So you can actually schedule things to be posted at a later date. In the same way, you can schedule things to be posted after the fact. So you could post something back in April or something. That's not a function you usually use, but there's the possibility for it. Now that's a status, and what you can do with status is if you use the at tag, you can tag people in it. For example, I can tag Harry Potter, just an example, using that at tag. You can also use hashtags, so hashtags are giving people more information about what your post is about. So for example, hashtag web design. So people know my post is about web design, and that's going to improve search results as well. And you can click that schedule because we've entered a time here. It'll show schedule. If you haven't entered a time here, it will show uh, post. And you can add a location if you wish. The other function I'm going to show you is the photo or video. So you can upload a photo or video or post a photo or video by clicking that upload button and then selecting the file you wish to upload through the little upload form. Okay. So for example, you click browse, you pick an image or a file you want to upload, uh, click open, and it's going to attach it to that image there. And you can post a, a sort of a status or a, a description for that image. Click that post button and you're done. And you've got those same functions there if you want to add a schedule it or if you want to add a location to it as well. So another function you're going to be using a lot is replying to comments. And a new function that they've added actually in uh, Facebook recently is the ability to reply to a comment. So I'm just going to find a post that has a comment on it. And we're going to I'm going to show you how to reply to a comment that's been made. So if I can find one here. Okay, so you can see here, here's the comments for this, for example. So you can see here this person's made a comment and you can actually click that reply button. What that's going to do is it's going to make a reply to that person and that's going to send them a notification. So if they ask a question or they make a comment on something, then you can actually reply directly to that person. You can also like uh, their post if you, if you find it uh, appropriate to like, then that's, that's up to you as well. So the other thing you're going to be doing um, a lot is replying to messages. Okay, so if I show this field here, this will show automatically. And it's going to actually show you your posts here. So it's going to show you how many people you've reached with each post um, and some various statistics and that sort of thing there. But over here it's actually going to show you the messages people have sent to you. And you can click this See All button and that's going to show you all the messages you've received over the lifetime of your account. So for example if I click on this message I can I can post a reply to that person and they're going to receive a notification about that. 
So that's how you reply to direct messages. Also over here you can see your post in your total reach which we explained earlier but you can actually click on that notification and when something new happens it'll show in a feed here. You'll also receive notifications up here so if someone likes a post, likes your page, comments on something you're going to see it here just like normal Facebook and you can access those messages from up here as well and you can see who has liked your page recently as well from here so likes is the people one the messages is here and your notifications are here there's various other things um, within settings and um, if you want to edit your update your page information add new administrators and that sort of thing under there you can also build your audience by inviting your email contacts or advertising your page through paid programs with Facebook you can view insights and if we click on that this will just give you a quick overview of what that actually does see it shows you statistics for recent periods and down here is a really good tool to see how many people you've reached with a post how much of that was paid and and the sort of the parameters of the post so you can see what people are actually engaging with and what people are liking in order to better uh, reach people in the future so if something wasn't very popular maybe you don't post something like that again maybe you avoid that and focus on the things that people are engaging with liking and commenting so this has been a, a quick overview of Facebook um, how to post a status how to upload new photos and videos how to reply to comments and then how to edit your page information and manage those notifications, likes and messages.